What happened to Green Lantern and Hawk Girl? The original Justice League consisted of one woman, one Martian, and five white dudes. Green Lantern, secret identity Jon Stewart, who besides being an ex-marine and gifted architect, was a prominent and respectable African-American superhero, who was introduced for the first time in Justice League TV series, which aired from 2000. Later, he was depicted in the comic, too. If you guys are familiar with the TV series, you should know that John and Sharia loved each other very much, and they were a happy and passionate couple. Until the Thanagarians arrived. Hot Girl was actually on a scouting mission on Earth. Only Batman knew that. And how is that? Because Batman, it's his superpower. For some time, I was also angry with Hot Girl. Actually, it was until I watched the next episode <laughs> because of her completely changed behavior. However, Shara wanted to tell John about her secret million times over, but she was bound into a code, just like in military. So when the Thanagarians arrived, she had to pick sides. Although first, it seems like she was betraying the League and happily going back to his former lover. Truth was somewhat different. But it was evident in her actions and later revealed to viewers through her own words when she said, I came to this planet as a patriot. I had a mission and I carried it out. What I, what couldn't, I couldn't know was that, was that I would come to care, care for the earth and her people. people. That I'd come to care for all of you. I love you, John. I never lied about that. She then disappeared into the vast blue sky for months. We again get to see her after eight episodes in Justice League Unlimited. But after the breakup, John began a relationship with a vixen. But during one adventure when they traveled to the future, it turns out Green Lantern and Hot Girl have a son together. Also in Justice League Unlimited, there's an episode named Ancient History, where the past story 8,000 years ago, the history was being revealed that Che Ara, the Queen of Empire, fell in love with Egyptian General Bashari. John Stewart's previous incarnation betraying the Emperor Qatar Hall. Although they somehow managed to seal Shadow Thief again inside Joseph Gardner's reincarnation of Qatar Hall, it later brews chaos down the line. So here's the story from there onwards. John and Vixen continue to passionately love each other in the Watchtower as Hot Girl awkwardly looks on. But the story picks up with John and Vixen when they go on a date an important date. He is nervous, but he has to play this part to continue the story. But the storyline suddenly changes when the past interferes with the present. You know what's the dramatic characteristic? Superheroes are meant to suffer. Unfortunately, Green Lantern learns this the hard way. Shadow Thief once again appears in John's life, but this time there wasn't Hawkman to stop or seal him. Completely free, Shadow Thief begins his revenge on Stuart from Vixen. Vixen was no match for Shadow Thief. With Vixen's death weighing heavily on poor John, it's time he puts his power ring to good use. It seems like the Hawkman has left this world, yet even in death, his part of evil spirit, Shadow Thief, remains angry that Hot Girl chose Green Lantern over him. As Green Lantern and Hot Girl confront the Shadow Thief, the dark mood of the arc stays in full-blown effect. By the way, did you know that John served as a sniper during his time in the Marines? I just thought you'd like to know. <laughs> but after taking the life of Vixen, Shadow Thief is going after Shaira's life. But not in a million years would John allow anyone to hurt her. As soon as Shaira was taken at the stake, John goes, full badass mode. So in the cartoon world, Green Lanterns, when one of their own caps does a pretty nasty thing, of course a moral spanking will be administered. So the Guardians decide, John Stewart, bear thy judgment. Thou shalt no longer be suited to carry the power of will hence stripped and banished from the corpse of Lantern Green. Look, it's sad having no Green Lantern, but Earth does have hundreds of other superheroes patrolling it like half a dozen Kryptonians and a small village of bat people. <laughs> That'll probably be enough. For our two protagonists, and after Vixen's funeral, they decide to spend a few days in the village of Zambisi, which was also the home of Vixen. Days turned into weeks, and weeks led to months, 
both John and Shayara decided to settle down in the village, as now both of them wanted the same thing. The company and warmth of each other. Aww. Nine months later, both John and Shayara retired from the league and moved to Africa to raise their newborn. The fruit of their love and labor. They taught him math, science, history, unraveling the mystery, and it all led up to a fine metal winged young man and a warrior whom someday will free his mother's planet and serve his parents and his homeworld. And those stories are for another day, but I hope you really enjoyed this happy ending. <laughs> Thanks for watching!